All right, so we got another stack here that I haven't used yet. Comes in a nice fancy clear plastic case, which can be used for other things as well. I like storing shit in little cases like this. So you open it up, you got your uh, manual. I hate it when people start out with the manual. So I'm gonna just throw that. There's the stack. It's the DYS F4 V2 Mini. Uh, I know I showed you this flight controller already because I had purchased just the flight controller because I thought it was too expensive for the stack. But when I actually thought about it and looked at other, um, you know, other foreign ones and flight controllers, if you buy them separately each, total, it's about the same price, if not more, than what this stack costs. I think this was like 75 And if you think about it, a good F4... 20 by 20 flight controller is going to be around 30, 35 bucks. And a good around 20 amp 4 in 1 20 by 20 is going to be, you know, 35, 45 bucks. So it's going to be around the same price, if not more. So this is actually a fair price. Um, and you're getting good quality. DYS makes good stuff, you know. So anyway, here it is. It comes with the XT30. And it comes already mounted to the stack. So basically all you need to do is screw this down to your frame, solder the motors on, put your receiver and FPV on, and you're ready to go. So I thought that was pretty nice. It also comes with a buzzer, same as the uh, bigger brother of this. It's the same exact buzzer too. Little 9mm by 5.5mm. And it comes with some mounting screws to mount to the frame. Pretty long. Um, wondering if they're nylon. Yep, they're nylon M2. A little bit longer than average ones that you would see. And when I say that, I'm talking about like the Yashin Mini Cube or um, what's the other one? The HGLRC F428, F425, those stacks. Um, they come with M2 as well, but much shorter screws, and they're usually always too short. Um, they should come with steel screws or maybe aluminum. Aluminum would be really nice, but um, because these do tend to snap off, uh, and you can snap your whole stack off of a frame, you know. I've seen it happen. Actually, I've seen it happen recently. So, um, yeah, there's a nice little case you got there put something in um, I'm gonna check out the specs I know it's an 18 amp 4 in 1 let's look at it closer it looks pretty nice you got pads on both sides you got lots of space in the middle there so you could most likely put a receiver in there and I'm talking like a XM plus but yeah plenty of room My fingers are blue because I dyed that frame. <laughs> um, let's see. So I'm pretty sure I already showed this flight controller. I don't know if I showed everything that is on it, but um, they always go all out with their flight controllers, you know. And same as the last one, you can't read anything on it. It's The print is like just horrible. Uh, this one actually is a little bit better than the last one, but still almost unreadable. So you got your S bus, two five volts, uh, your camera and VTX, so all your uh, OSD stuff and FPV is up there. Down here is all your UARTs and your 3.3 volt. And I think I showed you guys the last time how I was disappointed that that 3.3 volt pad was ripped halfway off. We'll check this out. This one also is partially ripped off. Right there. I can't believe it. It's just ridiculous. So luckily I have switched to FR Sky recently. So not a big deal. But still a little disappointing. Um, yeah, it's M2. M2 standoffs. But the cool thing about the stack is you don't have to worry about you know, getting your own hardware because it's already built. 
you just stick it on the frame and screw it down. You're good to go. I'm going to weigh it real quick. With the XT30 and all, 16 grams. Mm, I'm going to say that's actually pretty damn good. Because a lot of 4-in-1, just the ESCs by themselves, are like 10 to 12 grams, you know? So with the cable and the XT30 and the flight controller and all of it, 16 grams, that's actually light. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm going to be putting this in a Tomo Quads Micro 2. So uh, I haven't done a build video for a while, so I'll probably do a build video on that one. So watch for that coming up. It should be uh, the next day or two. All right. Thanks for watching.